Hey everyone, we're back with another Remnote update for August 2020. Let's see what's new. We've built an Anki exporter. Now, you can export your Rem documents as .apkgs, which can then be imported into Anki. So let's see how you can do this. In your settings, scroll down to Export Rem and choose the Anki Cards Only option. This will export your entire knowledge base into a .apkg, and you can now import it into Anki. I'll demonstrate that right here. Next up, we've made some changes to the keyboard shortcuts. Head over to Settings and click Keyboard Shortcuts. From here, you'll see all the default shortcuts. Tap the keyboard icon and enter your desired shortcut. Hit Enter, and now the new shortcut will be applied. You can also change it back or change it to a new one whenever you please. Just be careful you're not changing it to one that already exists. We've also reworked some default keyboard settings. This is to better integrate with other users on Mac. However, if you prefer the original keyboard settings, you can also toggle it back on. Next, we have better integration with emojis. Type percent sign and enter an emoji. You've always been able to type in emojis using any emoji keyboard, but the real upgrade here is that all the emojis now become rem references. And like references, you can click on them and see all other places you've referenced them before. This adds yet another unique way to categorize your rem. For example here, I'll add emojis for all the ideas that I think are fire while I'm working on my personal creative writing. And now if I press the fire, I can see all instances of that rem. Next, we have a few new experimental features. These are features that we hope to continue working on and improving for the future. And all of these features can be toggled on or off in the settings option. First, you can toggle on a Pomodoro in queue timer. Let's study some cards to see what it looks like. At the top right hand corner of your queue, you'll now see a tomato. And if you click on it, it'll turn blue. This means that it's paused. It will also track how many cards you've studied during that time frame. Inactivity for 20 seconds or more on a card will also pause the timer. Next is the breadcrumb, or thinking trail feature. Toggling on this feature allows you to visually see a history of your navigation pathway through RemNote. That way, you can better track how you've been navigating through your Rem. As a demonstration, I'll click through several different bullet points here. As you can see now on the top left hand corner of the screen, the breadcrumb trail will also expand. If you backtrack to a previous rem and instead take a new path, it will also branch off of the breadcrumb trail. And the last experimental feature I'll touch on is the hidden children view. By default, all collapsed rem have text beneath them that describe what children are nested. Turning on this feature will hide this text. In addition to hiding the text, it will also create a search box where you can search through all the descendants of that rem. As mentioned, these are experimental features and we want to continue improving them. Any feedback would be great, so head on over to our Discord and let us know what you think. Some additional polishes have also been added to RemNote. We've revamped the highlighters to be a bit more bold in color. Oh, and we've also added blue. When studying from a folder or document queue, using practice without space repetition, we've also added a checkpoint. So if you ever leave that queue, when you come back to it, you can pick up where you left off. I'll demonstrate that here by practicing in this document without space repetition. Let's answer one or two, then I'll come back, press it again, and it will prompt me if I wanna continue practicing from the last checkpoint. Portals also got a nice polish. We've eliminated a lot of the lines if you import a portal with many descendants. This just makes it look a lot cleaner. LaTeX also got a polish. The RemNote editor shows a preview of the rendered math equation. Before it would show all the previews at once, which was pretty messy. 
Now it will only show you the preview of the single math equation you're currently editing. We've also improved Chinese search functions and added other additional editor improvements across the board. Next are plugins. We want to make plugins more of a customizable and accessible part of your workflow. You can now add plugins directly into your Remnote account by heading over to the About section, pressing Tools, and choosing Plugins. From here, simply add whichever plugins you want to use. I'll take the graph view and word counter for example. Now if you go back to your Rem document, you can easily add in the plugin using forward slash. We've also added permissions and customization options for plugins. In the same location where you added plugins, you can also change keyboard shortcuts for plugins, change permissions from read to modify and delete, and you can also choose whether or not you want the plugin to be displayed inside your document or appear as a pop-up. That's gonna wrap it up for the August update. We thank you guys very much for your continued support. Feel free to connect with us anytime on Twitter and consider joining our Discord community for more updates and discussions. See you guys next time.